Good morning, everyone. Nala is just in her puppy pen here slash whelping area. Hey, girly. I'm gonna go and get more blankets for her because she's gonna need them. As you can see, the floor is still quite exposed. She only has her favorite blankie in here right now, as well as her pillow. And she insisted in bringing this ball in with her. This is an outdoor toy that she wanted in here. And I kept trying to put it back out and she kept grabbing it and wanting it in. So I just decided to leave it. She is indeed panting. As you can see, this is of course due to the heat as well as how far she is along in our pregnancy. But if you notice, your dog is panting more then they are further along in their pregnancy. But like I said, due to high temperatures right now, it's one of those things, it's a duo type thing. It's because of the heat as well as her pregnancy. Everything is looking exceptional. Her stool is looking good, temperature is looking good, heart rate is looking good, her tongue is looking good, it's a pinkish and not a deep red, her ears are looking good, no signs of inflammation, mammary glands, teats are all looking good as well. But she's certainly resting and like I said, I've been bringing her in here more and then bringing her out and she's just been hanging out in the room. But again, like I said, I have to go now, pick up some blankets for her as well, I need to pick up disposable pee pads and some formula to make sure formula is on hand because the can I had, it ended up expiring. So I need to pick up a new can just to have in preparation. The things I have here ready to roll are some gloves, certainly something that's extremely important. I also have the puppy scale here. I also have this trimmer. I use it on the other dogs, especially our Shih Tzu. And you can use this during the heat cycle to trim up the dog if you're preparing them to be potentially pregnant. Nala hates this, doesn't like it, doesn't like the feel of it on her underbelly, so we just have to trim up with scissors when she gets closer to her due date. But that's something you certainly would like to do just to make it more accessible for the puppies so there's not a bunch of hair there, but that's in this drawer. Next, we have the nail clippers. These are for the larger dogs, and then we have these ones for the puppies as well as our Shih Tzu. And you also want this on hand, just in case you accidentally clip the quick of the dog's nails by accident, you just dip it in, that way it clots it up and stops the bleeding. So we have that there just in case. Then we have some alcohol pads as well as some compressed towels, but there's lots of alcohol wipes in here. Then in this drawer, we have the stethoscope as well as thermometer. Then we have some suction bulbs and we have a little feeding kit as well as syringes and nipples in case any of the puppies require some feedings. Then down here we have a bunch of umbilical clamps as well as dental floss just in case. But so far we have never had to use any of this because Nala's been doing really, really well with making sure to remove the umbilical cord. But if you have a dog that struggles with this and you might need to cut the umbilical cord yourself, it's good to have this stuff on hand. Then in this drawer, I just have some different types of scissors. I also have surgical scissors, but they're out right now in a cup being sanitized. And then in this drawer, there are just some different types of bottles. I'm gonna just let her rest here now. I'm gonna run out, get the disposable pee pads as well as some blankets for her, and then I'll come back, all right? Yeah, and then I'll come back, my pretty girl. You just rest. Back again here now, and I have the extra, extra large size training pads to put underneath the whelping box underneath the blankets, but I don't bother with the small or the medium size, and sometimes if I can avoid even the large, I will. I like to get the biggest available size. It's just worth it for me in terms of Nala, she's a larger dog and she tends to have larger litters. I also ended up getting some disinfectant wipes as well as some fleece blankets and I'm gonna just wash and sanitize these so they're all clean before placing them down on the bottom of her whelping box slash puppy pen. But here's the pretty girl. You can kind of see underneath. Oh, she laid down. But she's in her room just resting, waiting. Aren't you? Waiting game now. I know. You can kind of see now that she's sat. Oh, she's laid down. <laughs> she's gonna show everyone here now. Maybe she'll show you all later. Hey, girly. She's certainly getting a lot larger in size. Oh, she stood up. Maybe I can kind of show you here. And here's a front view. 
of her mammary glands and her teats and we're gonna trim it all up here now hey my princess so that's done i know sorry about the noise that's just the fan going to keep nella nice and cool but i got the heating pad in here now some honey and some puppy formula i still have a few things left to get i still have to bring in the hand towels for the puppies which i'm probably going to lay here on the bed i also had to pick up the iodine and cotton balls so i gotta get that now we almost have everything though i'm so excited so excited and i just have in here lined with two nice fleece blankets for her and of course her little pillow oh and i still need vaseline i know there's a few other things i still need i gotta bring in the clipboard yet as well but i'll get all that stuff after and like i said i'm gonna go through the list in the room of things that i still need to get but i'm pretty sure i got everything all the main stuff like i said when my husband gets off work he'll grab the last few little things that i'll need like the vaseline and the iodine and the cotton balls and things like that yeah top all that up hey nella she just got up in her bed I'm just resting up here now. Hey, pretty girl. Look at the little ones got done. All chewed up there. I know, my princess. Won't be much longer. Okay. Yeah. She is here today starting to lick her area a lot more. She's letting out little whimpers here and there. I'm a princess. There she is just licking and cleaning herself. And like I said, she's panting. Can I get the little eye boogers? Huh, my girly, can I get this? The corner of your eyes, that's something else that's quite common when dogs are pregnant. That just reminded me, I gotta bring in paper towels as well. Yes, my princess, I gotta bring in paper towels for you as well. But yes, I'm gonna get those eye boogers for you now. I'm gonna bring in the paper towels and keep them in here. We also need to bring in the little garbage bucket. So that's in here as well. All right, I'll be right back, okay? There we go, pretty girl, that's better. Isn't it? No more. There's underneath. As soon as Daddy gets home, we're going to trim up underneath, okay? Have that all done. All right, my princess? Sound good to you? And he'll pick up the last of the stuff, and then everything will be here ready to roll. Mommy got your scissors out, getting sanitized. And I'm going to do the nasal and the suction bulb, all that stuff. I'll sanitize it again after. Even though it's already sanitized, I want to do it again. She's in the area now where she will be nesting, just resting, lit down, fans blowing on her. It's much later in the day and we are outside here now. We have had some major heat warnings here where we live. So we've been watching it with the dogs, not letting them out all that much. Claire's over there next to the barrel. Hey Claire. There's Miss Layla. She's been really picky today with her meals because she's been so warm. So I've been trying to not force her, but encourage her to eat her meals. <laughs> oh, hey, Miss Nella. But all Nella's vitals have been doing really well. We're checking them more frequently just because where she is farther along, so we're checking it every other hour. All the other dogs have been doing amazing as well. They've been giving her space, been respectful, not bugging her, nothing like that. We are back in Nella's room. She wanted to be in her walking box, so she's just in says she's certainly looking a lot more still painting and there she goes looking if anything shall change we'll update you but this is all that's happening for now thank you so much for watching we'll see you in the next video bye now everyone